Hello and welcome back. Still in the spirit of big wins, Apple Music has released its year-end list and chart highlights. The list also includes top Shazam songs for the music search application which Apple acquired some months ago. Earlier this year, Shazam launched a Niger Razor playlist on Apple Music and also surpassed 200 million global users in 2020. Omale with his hit song Bad Influence came up as Nigeria's most shazam song of 2020 following suit was master kg with jerusalem and we also had world and sars with mad coming in third place was i surprised to you or was it just me oh, okay do you remember the first time you discovered omali like i just checked um audio mark and i i think the first song was um i love you mm -hmm. i love i love you, but i love omali so i'm not that shocked all the songs in this album back to back where where it mm. is a bad influence love give me uh, damn, damn, everything mm. was it, and that was like his first album, right? Yeah, I, yes, yes. That's yes. First no, album. you guys are mixing like two mixtapes together, okay? Either way, sure, mm. but we're way. all together, oh, he's talented. All that was, I'm just trying I'm to just, say, I'm just no, because I'm thinking Shazam, right? Uh -huh. Like, you know, the song that you would, yeah, Shazam to, and I just wouldn't have thought. No, let me tell you why. And they know the spot. The doctor said I bought my liver. Mm -hmm. I've been drinking, saying prayers. You still sing and play Wait, my guitar. Saying prayers. <laughs> Do you want me to say the, what he oh, said? Oh, sorry, sorry, <laughs> sorry, Sister, sorry, sorry. come on, we're on television. <laughs> yeah. So that PG. part alone, mm -hmm. that part mm -hmm. alone was really like a catchy line right, yeah. you get like everybody loved that part of the song i know when that song goes up in the club that part is where everybody the doctor said that you know that Even was like crackhead helped with yeah that with well. that as well when she did that stuff so yeah so i think yeah i'm not even surprised about it because um i said it's that omali's um fast rise was um super fast at the same time because he was um on um, YouTube, he was on New York, he was on CNN, he was on BBC. So big shout out to Amelie, he deserves everything. Hard work pays eventually. Yeah, I think mm -hmm. what for me is still a bit shocking. Not that I don't know that he's big or that people wanted to find his okay. music or that he wasn't deserving. I just, okay, I've said it on this table that I caught on to Amelie very slowly. Like, I remember when he said, I'm like, who's this person? And I didn't know any of his songs okay. until Crackhead, which is long after. Like, I think he's even done like maybe one more. Oh, it, come on. it was now, wasn't no. it? I don't think I knew that song when Crackhead started. Or... So you've not just like, heard the song on we radio? We spoke about like, him, okay. like, I think you found it about you. No, but you I didn't know Bad you. Influence. I, maybe I, might, I have known that song that you Love hooked it. me yeah. up on. What's that song again? Oh, is it them, you, them, them? You. Yeah, hey, you, yeah. That, that music video. But I still didn't know what he was about or like the songs that he had sang. Mm -hmm. And maybe because okay, I, I was... Crack it, did a thing? Yeah, that I know, no, so, okay, so a song called Band of... And I, I was like, oh yeah, I've actually heard that song before. And then I now knew, okay, it was Omale who sang that song. It's the same thing with Terry... Terry, what? What's with Whiskey? Akbala. No, 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 no. Okay. Whiskey's new guy. Terry, yeah, yeah Terry. Terry. Same thing with Terry as well. I feel like I slept on Terry. There's a few people that I feel like I Whiskey's slept on. new guy. Wow. <laughs> yeah, I'll be able to explain that. I'll, I'll, I'll explain it. Would you yeah, not say Buju? Whiskey signing. He's not new. Like, ah, Terry. Okay, see, I've slept on the guy as well. <laughs> <laughs> but I just didn't find, honestly speaking, no comfort me. I just didn't find his sound as something that you would want to go Shazam. Mm. Let me explain it. With Jerusalem, that sound is so like, whoa, what is this? Mm -hmm. Even um, Saz and what's his name? World. World. Okay. That vibe was like, mm -hmm. I don't think I've heard any song like that in my, like across the globe. That sound was extremely unique. Mm -hmm. So when I saw this guy's on as number one, I'm like, ah, okay, that's interesting. It just took me aback. Like, I'm not saying the song was bad. I'm not saying the song mm -hmm. was not nice. I just didn't feel it was such a, like a, a go-to Shazam. That the sound will want you, that like you hear the sound for the first time and want to Shazam it. I don't know. I think like what um, if I said is about the lyric and mm. the beat. Yeah. So when you hear it on radio, like it has this vibe, mm. this Friday party vibe. Like mm. when you just listen to it, you're like, ah, who is, who is yeah. this? Like, you also yeah. check it. So I mean, I, I think he's, I, I, I definitely know he's a one hit wonder because I've heard his next mm -hmm. EP. And I was, I'm, I'm streaming to that song like back to back to back. So I think Omale is here to stay. I keep saying it, the youngies are doing their Wonderful. thing. Like, so anyway. <laughs> <laughs> if you see things that happen on the set, you don't want to know. that the cameras cannot reach. I don't know. 
Anyways. Mm. Anyway. Mm-hmm. We're going on a quick break. There's still more in store. Don't go anywhere. Hi. <laughs> Two tea time on Plus TV Africa. I hope you enjoy that music break. I'm moving on to our next story. We have Peter Okoye who says he is sorry for calling out Osaze Odemwinge. Uh, Nigerian music star Peter Okoye and former Nigerian international footballer have apologized to each other over their recent comments on Instagram. Odemwinge had called out o- Okoye, which is Mr. P, over his lottery business, which got him inf- infuriated. Then the footballer took to his Instagram page on Wednesday to share a 10 minute video so you know there's a lot of ranting in that we're not only apologizing to okoye but also advise people to be very wary about gambling and i quote my bro i did not mean any offense to be honest but we are brothers as you offer to pray for me since you believe things aren't well with me i believe i should return the favor because what you sow is what you reap he said and then okoye also responded and apologized and saying, ac- apologies accepted my brother. So sorry for calling you out as well. Remain blessed, one love, hashtag I come in peace. It would be recalled that Okoye had dragged Odemwinge after he called him over out his lottery lo- business. I don't know why we did not talk about this story as it was unfolding. That's how you know there's so much going on in the industry that you can't really, to be honest, you can't focus on, every, on like cover everything. But it was trending on after a while. People were worried about his mental health. Even this is Ode Winge because he was coming at a lot of people. It wasn't just Okoye. It was also Mrs. Kanu, Kanu Wanko's wife, allegedly saying that this lady is is teasing, basically chasing him for a chat in the DMs. Only for the ladies to say, ah, bro, not at all. Like my whole family. And I want to talk to you like my husband was away and all of that. And then he came for Koye saying that, you know, he's gambling and that all suspected Nigerians are basically getting duped by Okoye. And there's a lot of videos on his page about God knows what. I mean, he clearly has a history in case you don't know who this guy is on social media. He has a history of um, converting to Christianity full time. Mm-hmm. So he's been very vocal about that and is. Um, I can almost argue that's in the extreme side. So he's really, he's really calling out a lot of people for their sins, if that makes sense. And, and I guess that's off the spirit of that. Okoye did not find it easy, um, funny, this mm-hmm. is Mr. EP, basically telling him you need help and all of that. So what are your, what are your takes on this apology? <laughs> on his own apology, I don't feel it's legit. Because, you know, it was trying to be sarcastic. Like, say, you said, I'm not, I'm not well. Mm. Well, thank you for your prayers and everything. But one question I want to bring out of this conversation is, do you think um, you owning a lottery business makes you not godly enough? That hmm. makes you not connected to God? Because hmm. that's what he was trying to create. And you're like, you want to shake this table this morning. <laughs> you want to break it into pieces. <laughs> throw it no. away. End no. the show. Cover all the cameras. Let's be going to our house. No, no, no. Because that's what he was trying to attack um, Mr. P about. Like, okay, um, he said, your music inspired me, made me get closer to God. And now you are owning this um, lottery business. So you're not connected to God. So I was just confused. That's why I said, let me ask you guys, like, how does that not make you connected to God? How does that make it sinful hmm. for you to own a lottery business? I think it fails the Christian on this table. Yeah. <laughs> Basically, I think um, Odair Winge, the, he had um, good intention, but couldn't um, say it properly. So when he explained himself, I think he was trying to make a lot of sense. That, Look, it was off the back of a story of a particular video that Peter Okoye posted mm-hmm. where um, a guy said he stole his mom's last 500 that they had in their family. That okay. was all they had. And he stole it to go bet on Peter Okoye's platform, right? Yeah. And he won. So then we get was like, look, you could have just told everyone that, look, the fact that you stole is not the right thing to do. There are a lot of people that have stolen that didn't win and have costed their families a lot of things. So don't make it look like it's okay to go steal, to gamble, and you stand a chance to win. So tell people what it is. Sometimes, some days you get lucky, some days you don't. There are a lot of people that have used way more than 500 and they lost it all. There are a lot of people that have been in prison because they use money that they're supposed to use for somebody's business and they use it to gamble so what Odell Winger was trying to say is that look in as much as it's like um, the companies that uh, make cigarettes they still put it um, 
uh, warning, smokers are liable to die, die young. Do you understand? They still let it. They don't say smoke away, just smoke it. You know, they don't put... Yeah, that's the they don't put. Yeah, but yeah. I, I, want, I wanted your take. I mean, obviously, you cannot argue mm -hmm. with that one, that gambling is a risk. And I think they make disclaimers as well. I know they make a lot of disclaimers in regards to age. Mm -hmm. And they also make a lot of disclaimers in regards that they are not held responsible for <laughs> the outcome of your gambling mm -hmm. and all that. But you asked a very interesting conversation, um, a question rather, when you said how did you put you, it um, gamble, um you participating in owning a lottery business yes, does that make that, you yes, not yes. so do you think that, that that having a godly a gambling business as a christian is bad well um i don't think i'm in the best position to answer that question i think uh, probably um a pastor a pastor will be in the best position to answer really that. But one thing yeah. that i know is that they say if your right hand causes uh, on its sin, it should be cut off or a stone should be put around your leg and you should be thrown into the ocean i think you're hey. yeah so i think it's um yeah you're if, really not the best person to yeah <laughs> exactly so that's why i said um if if your business is making other people commit sin it doesn't mean that but it is a uh, not justified yeah. either like the lottery business is not actually that bad we've seen a lot of people that they win and it has helped them for um, they, they've helped their families so many people they win the lottery they'll change their lives they'll move to the states but things will just turn better for them so um, every year we used to change people's lives over. i don't know Sha. <laughs> <laughs> i'm just saying there should be a balance like don't like what if i said it's us don't be addicted to it don't um steal your parents money to gamble and everything there should just be a balance mm. i'm definitely against gambling as a as an ideology okay. I, I don't I, uh, it's not my thing mm -hmm. but in terms of religious from a religious perspective i mean i wouldn't really know so i can only answer from a moral perspective okay. uh, I, I according to what i know about the bible I, I let's be real i don't think that's allowed especially if you look yeah. at the principles and how the bible works you, and if i just mentioned like if your if your business is causing other people to sin i don't know how you can make heaven <laughs> that's your <even> problem <laughs> that's your <even, laughs> and you that are doing the Mm -hmm. uh -huh. from my own moral perspective and the compass that I use, which is very different, mm -hmm. I still just don't like the idea of gambling. I think it, it, it promotes, it promotes, there's nothing, I don't know how you can use good values to gamble, if that makes sense, because um, you have to first be, you have a lack of discipline, first of all, mm -hmm. to go and use your hard-earned money and put it in something that you're not sure of, and you know that you can never be sure of it. And then there's also the possibility of getting very addicted to it you don't use any good morals to participate in it and you don't derive any good behavior or patterns or culture from participating in it either but if you want to set up the business i want to be a businessman i want to make your money i mean go ahead i mean i really cannot be the person to say so i don't think um the the com the apology especially from Odewinge was legit i think when you ap apologize with bots and then go back to the thing that um, threw, threw Peter off in the first place. Okay. He did not really apologize, but he said it nicer. So, and I guess the, Mr. P is okay with the nice way he has said it. And okay. who are we to say okay. anything else about that? I don't know if he's also going to apologize to Mrs. Kanu. I'm waiting for that as well, because I thought that was really offensive, especially in this culture where you bash women a lot. It's, like yeah. it's almost like he was sending trolls to that lady, which I didn't find funny at all. But Kanu, Mr. Kanu, legendary. Mr. Kanu has come out to obviously defend his wife. So I guess, and you know, everybody can, can, can mm -hmm. deal with that. But anyway, it's Friday and it's the weekend's about to start. Let me just leave you guys to it. Hope you have fun and stay safe. But unfortunately, that is all that we can take for this episode. But thank you so much for watching. Don't forget that you can join this conversation with the hashtag Tea Time or Twitter us at Plus TV Africa. Remember that you can catch up on all our previous episodes obviously including this one, and subscribing to our YouTube channel at Plus TV Africa. You can also watch Tea Time on RT TV and in London on Ben Television. A big thank you goes out to my stunning anchors and Yo. the birthday boy of tomorrow, <laughs> if you follow yeah. Welsh UK, and the entire production team. Thank you so much for watching Tea Time. My name is Ife Omai. Stay jiggy.